hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video welcome back to my channel the sun has not been out in days so i want to sit by the window and just talk through all of these new purchases that i made at sephora i haven't opened a single thing except for a couple things that were repurchases because i needed them specifically skincare but we will go over them very excited to try all this for the first time with you if you're new here hi my name is fortune welcome to my channel i am a professional makeup artist but we talk about a lot of things here on my channel we talk about grief mental health, self-love, all that kind of stuff. You see me in full face of makeup, no makeup at all, hysterically crying, happy as a clam, you know, I show it all. I want this to be a safe space for you guys, for me. If that's something that you're interested, check out my other videos. And if we vibe, make sure you subscribe. I would love to have you as a part of my little family here on YouTube. If my face looks a bit red, I did my new face and y'all know, if you watch my videos, I have very sensitive skin. I may be a little bit red. I recently broke out from using summer fridays or jet lag mask i had hives all over my face for like three weeks um so i have very sensitive skin i have dry skin i'm 32 years old just so we're all on the same page you know what we're working with i have pretty decent skin though i'm not gonna hate on my skin but she's sensitive you can see it looks like i have a rash on my neck but again that is from my new face device microcurrent i love it i can't say enough good things about it but you guys have heard me talk about it so many times so today i washed my face i did my new face and then i slapped on the shiseido ultimate power infusing concentrate i bought the refill when you buy the refill the only thing it does not come with is the pump and the cap just wanted to mention her right here right now for lips i've been doing that scrubby technique that i've showed you guys in a recent tip tuesday um i use the akar skin i got this little lip scrubby from sephora so i actually want to take this off because i oh my god that almost went in my coffee <laughs> I bought the Laneige lip sleeping, lip sleeping mask. I can't talk today, but what day can I talk in sweet candy? I've owned this before. I didn't really love it when I owned it, but Tati Westbrook convinced me to buy it again. She swears by it. So I decided I would try a different one. Again, this is sweet candy. The one that I owned prior was the original. This is what it looks like. It smells like sweet candy. I have always loved how these come with a little applicator. Pick up a bit. Throw it on the lips. This smells really good. It does smell like sweet candy. It has a thick consistency. I don't want to judge it again because I really haven't tried this in a bit. And then if I were to go in with my little lip scrubbing technique that Tati Westbrook taught us all, I would take this and just lightly exfoliate my lips before adding a little bit more, but I'm not gonna do that because I've already exfoliated and I don't wanna over exfoliate my lips today. When trying a foundation for the first time, I do like to test it out with nothing underneath except for a serum and this has SPF 35 in it. So I will be a little bit protected from the sun. I'm in the shade three. I love a squeezy tube. It's light. It has a pump. It's not too heavy in my makeup bag if I were to take it back and forth from the beach house from work. It is very moussey. I'm gonna apply this with a brush just because that's how I prefer to apply my foundation. It Cosmetics Complexion Number 7. And I'm gonna put my little Elios light on just to give a little bit of lighting so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna pat this into the skin. This has like no coverage. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I like a light coverage day. I think this would be good as like an everyday kind of just want to make your skin even. I'm gonna do half of my face. I'll show you what half looks like. Let's try it with my finger. Can you see? It's, there's like no coverage. It's like a little bit of coverage. It adds like a little bit of luminosity. Can you see? It's pretty. If you're looking for like a foundation to really cover up your imperfections, I would not choose this. I did not think it was gonna be any kind of foundation foundation with coverage. Yeah, it's a tinted moisturizer. Very lightly tinted. I think it's nice. I'm looking at my face in my Ilios light and it looks very luminous. I don't feel like it's exaggerating my pores, which is great. I'm excited to use this. I feel like this is a really good now kind of product, like spring, summer. You want to be outside and like living your best life. You don't want to be wearing too much makeup. You want to be in and out. I forgot that I bought this. Banana Bright Eye Cream, Vitamin C and Collagen Impact. It's brightening, hydrates, age defying, illuminates, la la la. It does a lot of things. You guys know, I love me some Tati Westbrook and she swears by this. And she says that when she wears this, it really brightens up her under eyes. This way she doesn't have to use a lot of concealer. For some reason, I don't know what's going on. My mascara keeps transferring underneath my eyes. And I think it's because I'm putting too much concealer on. I don't know. 
TBD. I'm still running the investigation. If I can put an eye cream on that will help depuff my eyes, brighten them, and get rid of my wrinkles while using less concealer, I think that's a win-win. So I'm gonna lightly apply this underneath this side just to see what it does. I have tried this before. I got a sample a really long time ago. It was nice, but it was a little too heavy for my eyes. I have very, very sensitive skin. And I find that sometimes I get little bumpies, especially around my eyes. That definitely brightened this eye a little bit. So you can see, I've only worked on this half of my face. That did kind of lighten the blueness underneath my eyes. And I'm just putting it on the back of my hand. Sometimes it's good to like warm up products, especially if you have sensitive skin. Warm up the products on the back of your hand. This way you're applying a lighter layer. If I put too much product on my skin, my skin can't breathe. And then that's when I personally end up with hives and bumps and breakouts and texture. So I'm just gonna take my Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I'm in the shade Cotton. So I'm just highlighting bits of my face. And I feel like this Say Beauty decided for me that this is going to be kind of like more natural makeup, but you know, the day, the makeup, I should say, is still young. So I'm taking the other side of this brush and I'm just stamping it into my skin. And these two are pairing well together. It's kind of just like gliding across my skin. I think I may have spoken too soon. Let's see, let's give it a second to marinate. I just feel like it looks a little textured. And I think that eye cream is to blame. Let's give it a moment. Sometimes the makeup just needs to sit for a bit, which you guys know I'm a big advocate for. I just feel like it's really textured. Like all in there, in here. Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. It was like one of those Sephora insider points that I used to get this. I love a travel setting spray because I genuinely will throw this in my pocketbook and take it with me. If Mike and I have a long day, for instance, like over the weekend, we had a communion in Pennsylvania. So I put my makeup on at like 9 a.m. and we were out until like 7 p.m. So I was sure to bring a setting spray. The one that I brought was my Max Max. My Mac Fix Plus, a travel size. It says party all night, stay all day. That's a nice mist. Ooh. That is a really nice scent to it. It kind of like woke me up, I don't know. Kind of just hit me and it felt very like invigorating. Ooh, I really, really like this. Let's see what it does to the makeup though. That's just my initial reaction. NARS Laguna Bronzer. How beauty, hello, can you focus on the right thing? Wow, that is sexual. Nothing like an untouched beauty product to just get you going. And this smells luxurious. Like it smells expensive. Real Techniques. This is one of my favorite brushes. Expert face brush. I don't want to even, I don't want to stamp in this, but I'm excited to try this. So oh, it's done. I'm going to, Ooh, that is pigmented. Oh, did you see how fast that blended? <gasps> I love NARS guys. And I'm going to throw a little bit into the crease like that. Use this to carve out the face. I'm such a NARS fan. Like NARS always gives me like happy feelings. My skin looks great. So dewy. I'm grabbing, oh, but it blends out really like seamlessly. So you can go in with a little too much and then it's fine. Like look at that. Did she spend the day in the sun? Probably not because to be honest, I'm one of those people that hides under the umbrella all day because I don't like being hot, I don't like being sweaty, and I don't like sun damage. But I do wish that I felt that way when I was younger because let me tell you, I would fry my skin. Like I remember Mike and I went away for the first time we went to Miami, that was our first trip together, and I messed up my face. I was using retinol, I think I've told this story many times, but I haven't told it in a while, and I feel like a lot of you are pretty new here. I was using retinol at night, and then Mike and I went to Miami, and I didn't stop the retinol, which I didn't know that was a thing. Like if you're gonna go sun tanning, you need to cut the retinol. Don't quote me because I'm not a dermatologist, but I wanna say she told me like a week prior and I didn't. And so I went out in the sun. I had a terrible allergic reaction to the sun. Like it was terrible. It looked like I had a golf ball inside my forehead. Like that's how swollen I became. So fun times. However, I wish I was afraid of the sun forever because my skin would be immaculate. This, amazing. Oh my God, look at my skin. I love when a beauty product just gets me all hyped and excited. 
You guys know I love Tower 28. They're Beach Please Luminous Tinted Bombs. You can put on your cheeks, on your lips. I primarily just use it as a blush. I own After Hours, which is a purple tone. I own Happy Hour, which is a beautiful bright pink tone. And then I wanted to get this one. I don't know. I feel like Summer Peach. This is probably going to look really great with this bronzer now that I'm holding it up to my face. This packaging breaks. I love that it's see-through though. It's not very durable. So I'm hoping that she's durable. So this is what it looks looks like. I'm going to pick it up with this crown brush. This is a really pretty color. I did not think it was going to go on that color though. I thought it was going to go on a little bit more muted. I'm putting a little bit into the crease. Oh my god. Look at that blush. Mm, putting a little bit on my nose. These are really, really pigmented. You guys saw when I first tried Tower 28 for the first time ever, I looked like a clown. I forgot, obviously, when applying this because I just went in with a hefty hand, but a little goes a very long way. Paw brush like this and remove any of the product that may have moved into my fine lines before powdering with Laura Mercier. This is my favorite powdering brush, Morphe M0. So freaking good. You can buy this at Sephora. Again, I did not buy it at Sephora this time because this little baby will last me a lifetime and it is a travel size. Have her ready on standby. Take out the creases and then set. Camera is overheating. I just like really get in there. We're moving as I go. Hmm, what's happening? Why is it shedding? I was just talking about you so wonderfully. And now you're shedding all over my face. Putting this in the sections of my face where I don't like to be shiny. So I'm taking a little bit and I'm really gonna focus it right here because I don't like this shine. Can you see on this side? I don't like that. I've been taking a bit of this powder like that and I've just been lining it up on the sides of my nose to help give like the jankiest but effective like little nose contour just to straighten the nose out a little bit. A little bit just right in the center to brighten and kind of smooth my lines. See what that just did? Just like smooth in my forehead. Mm, so good. Next, I bought this because Tati, Tati told me to. I've been loving my Merit Tinted Brow Gel, but I've literally gone through four tubes of it and I feel like it really has helped my brows grow. It has like a serum in it to help condition your lashes, to help your lashes to help condition your brow hairs so that they last longer, they grow longer, so on and so forth. So I'm a little bored though, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to test this one out to see if this one is as good as Merit, hopefully maybe better. Grande Brow 2-in-1 Tinted Gel with Brow Enhancing Serum. This is expensive. Merit one is expensive too. I do think that this one's a little bit more, more expensive. Here is the packaging. <gasps> I just got... <laughs> Plastic in my coffee. I like to start here. Oh wow. I feel like that's a safe place to start. I'm following the direction in which my hair grows. Wow, that's nice and that's bold. And then when I have most of it off, I go towards the front of my brow. That is nice. Can you see the difference? I'm going to the other side. I'm not gonna dip in again. I don't love this at all. Um, I'm gonna use it because I bought it and I wanna see if it helps my brows grow, but it is like a lot chalkier looking and like fake looking than my Merit. And I'm trying to remedy the chalkiness with the brow whiz to just get them a little bit more even, but it's not really working. So I'm just gonna give up. I don't, no, no, not for me. Color Chameleon by Charlotte Tilbury, Dark Pearl. This is just like a crayon that you draw on the lid with, very much like my Laura Mercier caviar sticks. You guys have seen me use them so many times and you guys know how much I adore them. Charlotte does a good break down on what crayons look good for what color eyes, which I think is genius and helps us all. So I have brown eyes, in case you didn't notice, as my husband likes to call them, poop brown eyes. And so I got dark pearl because it has that kind of purple undertone to it, which purples look great on brown eyes. But also, if I could just toot my own horn for a moment, I think that out of all of the eyes that one could possibly have at any color, I'm gonna be real, I wish I had like blue eyes or like green eyes. I feel like I'd look really good with green eyes, honestly. However, I have brown eyes. And for those of us who have brown eyes, you can get away with more eyeshadow shades than say a green eye person or like a blue-eyed person can because if you think about it brown is like a neutral so you compare it with any color I mean granted like I said there are colors that will make brown eyes pop more but you can get away with anything you know like your eye isn't going to clash 
with other shades because brown is such a neutral color. It kind of looks like amethyst. Let me grab my amethyst by Laura Mercier. Oh, super freaking close to amethyst. So that's amethyst right there. Can you zoom where I need you to zoom? That's amethyst right there. They're like pretty much the same color. So I don't know why I bought this. Let's just use it now that I've already swatched it. I'm a little mad that I bought it. It's a summer day. I want to be outside. I just want a little bit of color. And so I'm just swiping this. That's pretty. So what I'm doing is I'm focusing it on the lash line. So I'm kind of putting it on like an eyeliner and then blending it up from the lash line just to give that like gradient effect. Just because I want to piss myself off, I'm gonna take Amethyst and I'm gonna lay her down. She's definitely brighter. I'm gonna lay her down towards the center of my lid. I don't know if you can see that, but Amethyst is a little bit brighter. So I feel like I can use this one to brighten the intersection of my lid. I don't love this. I'm just gonna like blend this out a little bit. I guess we're going, oh, my eyes do not look even at all. I like the Laura Mercier caviar stick so much better. I feel like this was a terrible idea. I really just wanted to go boom, 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 boom. So I'm gonna take what's ever left over on my finger and just bring it all up. I'm just like really not feeling this. I don't know. I feel like my eyes look really small. My brows look really like chunky. I don't know. I'm not, I'm actually shocked at how much I am hating these new products, but I did buy another lip cheat from Charlotte Tilbury. This is her iconic nude lip liner. I bought a backup because I got it at 20% off and we all know that I love it. So I'm gonna use the one that I currently have, which is dwindling just to line my lips. And I'm really enjoying the Laneige sleeping mask. It feels really nice. I feel like it did a good job of filling in the lines in my lips and kind of pushing them out so that they feel comfortable and they look less wrinkly. I bought a bunch of lip products. Are we surprised by that? No, no, no. I don't know which one I'm gonna wanna wear, but a lot of them are just like easy. I was thinking like when I was shopping, quick summer makeup, grab and go, kind of like what I wanted to do with the Charlotte Tilbury eye shadow stick. Didn't really work out for us. Ahem, 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 ahem. I bought a lot of lip products, a lot of lip products because I have no chill when it comes to lips. Oh, I also have another one. Hold, please. I bought this one too that I forgot was in my pocketbook. So I, I yeah, I'm, a, I'm absurd. I went to Sephora with my sister and I bought these three lip products. The first time when I placed my online order when Mike and I were in Napa, I'll link that video up here if you missed the Napa vlog. Such a good shine. But the Sephora sale started on the 14th. Mike and I were in Napa and you bet your ass I had my shopping cart ready to go and I bought all these things. Let's talk about my Sephora brand purchases first. So I bought this Outrageous Intense Lip gloss guys this is so pretty i'm not gonna put it on my lips though because it is like fire for the lips it is a lip plumping gloss it does a really wonderful job of picking up the light beautifully on the lips like i said my sister and i went to sephora i met up with her to get breakfast before going to get my hair done for a good five hours yes my hair is lighter i am blonder but i forgot a chapstick so there was a sephora nearby where we went to get breakfast my sister and i went we looked for something for my aunt she really wants the patrick ta contour duo that I love and adore. So I tried to find that they didn't sell it, but I bought it online. Anyway, I digress. So I was like, I need a gloss. So I went over to the Sephora brand section because it was 30% off. This was my gloss that I was hoping was going to hydrate my lips. I got to the hair salon. Samantha, my colorist, went to go mix up the color in the back and I put this all over my lips. Oh my God. By the time she came back, my lips were huge and inflamed. And she literally asked me, did you get your lips done before coming to this appointment? And the answer was no. I just put this painful as shit gloss all over my lips. So if you are someone that likes really big, juicy lips, you don't mind a lip plumper, then I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Again, this is in the shade Outrageous Intense. And it is outrageously intense when you put it on your lips. These remind me of the L'Oreal color reaches. I originally went to Walgreens a few weeks ago to find two shades, Glossy Fawn and some kind of peach shade, and my Walgreens didn't have it. So when I went to Sephora, I saw these and was like, these will do. So I got two shades, strong as hell. And what I don't like though, is that it doesn't say the name on the bottom. It just says it on the packaging that I'm about to rip off. So the peach one is strong as hell. And then I got a more nudie shade 
read, which is Go Girl. It makes me think of um, Shania Twain. Let's go girls, you know, in that song. The peachier one, and this is the nudier one, and I feel like the nudier one will go beautifully. <gasps> But this is a great summer shade. I bought this from Pat McGrath. I don't know why. I don't remember who said I should get this. Look at this packaging. Look at this color. Nude Venus. That's really pretty. Can you cooperate with me, please? That's really, really pretty. But this is like, it almost has like a purple undertone to it. Do you see that? This has been in my freaking loves on Sephora forever. And I just thought, let's pull the trigger. This is the Lip Glow in 001 Pink. And it just looks bougie. Here's the packaging. I wish that my camera would cooperate with me today because it's really not. That is literally a clear gloss with a little bit of pink. That's like nothing. It doesn't feel very like hydrating though. TBD. I also got this one from Lawless. This is in the shade Posy. I don't know if I like this shade. It has like a berry tone to it. It's a light berry tone. It kind of has like a brown undertone to it. That's pretty. Andrea Ali here on YouTube said that I needed this and I also don't question her. So this is the Gucci Rouge Brilliant Glow and Care Lip Color and I got the shade Sally Soft Honey. I don't know why. I really love that name. Just like a work of art. Nudie shade. Can we focus on my hand please? Uh, you see how light of a tint that is? Lately, I just kind of want to grab and go. I like a softer kind of makeup, something that's easy, one, two, three. And you guys have seen a lot of that. I've been posting a lot more natural makeup here on my channel. My vibe has definitely been you throw it on your lips and go. I'm trying to think what lip I should wear. I think this one, but I don't remember which one this one is. I think it's this one. Let's do the Sephora brand. But this is really nice. It's a pretty color. Summary, this is a great lip. I feel like this is great for the summer. Really comfortable, really comfortable. I already have a problem with this. I haven't even tried this, but I'll tell you my problem because you guys know I tell you everything. You can't like reapply SPF on top of makeup. I've tried numerous SPF setting sprays. They all break my skin out. They irritate my skin. It makes my makeup gloppy. So I wanted to just try setting powder with SPF in it. So this is super goo. Glow setting, 100% mineral powder, SPF 35. I didn't realize that it had this like sleeve that pops up so that you can put it in here nicely because this was down, hear me out. And I thought you just had to like smush the brush like this. Okay, but you don't. So redemption, let me zoom you in. It's closed, this is open. It has like shimmers in it. Can you see that? It has a shimmer to it. I should have realized it's glow setting. All right, here we are. Let us commit. Oh no, this is like straight up glitter. Oh no. No, this is terrible. I don't want a glitter in my setting powder. No, I hate this. I just said I don't like to look shiny in there. Okay, maybe I could use it for this. Like, that's pretty. Look at that, look at that. That's pretty. Okay, okay. Let me go arrange my thoughts. I don't, this is terrible. I am feeling sassafrassy. I don't like my makeup. I'm very excited to wash my face because I'm just not happy with how this came out. So let's start off on a positive note and talk about the things that I am super excited to have in my collection. NARS, this bronzer, oh my God. It looks so good on my skin. You saw how quick it blended. It looks so natural. Also very excited about Say Beauty, the slip tint, tinted balm, tinted moisturizer. What am I saying? I have another hair on me somewhere here. I'm just not having a good time sitting here right now. No offense. I always have a good time with you. I'm not having a good time with my makeup. If you guys wanna see a wear test on this, let me know your thoughts. I'd be happy to do a full day wear test, showing you all different lightings, natural, asking people's opinions. You guys know how I do that here on my channel. Same with this. I was actually gonna return this Tower 28 blush in Rush Hour, and I'm so glad that I didn't because this shade is so pretty and it doesn't look like any shades that I already own. I really didn't like her the first time that I tried her, but she did a really 
really nice job of filling in the lines in my lips. My lips feel really cushy. They were nice and prepped for the lip look that I decided to wear, which I'm also really happy with. So I'm excited to have this back in my collection. This formula is so nice, very cushy, very comfortable. It's didn't bleed into the fine lines around my mouth. So I highly recommend these. Excited to try these other lippies. As far as what I absolutely hated, I can't use this. I have like gold shimmers. And can you see how it's just like highlighting my lines? I just, I'm, this is terrible. This is a terrible idea. My brows look chunky and terrible. Even my Essence Make Me Brows, while they don't have brow enhancing serum in it. There's no brow enhancement in it, but it's a $3 tinted gel and it looks so much better than this. Chameleon pencil. This was terrible, guys. Do not buy this. If you want an eye crayon, go for the Laura Mercier ones. They're creamier. They're better. They blend nicer. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Is there something that I tried that you loved, that you didn't love? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? I would love to hear anything and everything down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love for you to become a part of my little family here on YouTube and click the bell button next to it. This way you get notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I had a wonderful time with you. I did not have a wonderful time with the makeup, but that's okay. And that is par for the course here when you try, test, and just have a really high standard when it comes to beauty. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.